4a it asks you to find the exact value now whenever you see exact value on the test that means that you want to write the answer in terms of square roots or fractions whatever it happens to be you do not want to write your answer as a decimal so don't do that if it says exact value I want the square root and the fraction with it so that's what we'll do on this one now taking a look at that we talked about some identities in this section and one of the identities that we had was uh, changing out cosecant into a cosine I'm going to do that because my calculator most likely will just have sine cosine tangent button on it so if it has a secant I need to change that out so I'm going to rewrite this as cosine pi over 3 and because we got the square up there this is exactly what it means it's 1 over cosine pi over 3 that whole thing squared and I have minus this is going to be tangent pi over 4 squared okay you're gonna to have to know the unit circle or the table so that's not going to be given to you on this first test there is a formula sheet that's given at the end so the same formula sheet that you see with the uh, sample test that's the same one I'm going to give you on the actual test but uh, these values you're gonna to have to know so you want to either know how to create the unit circle on your own or memorize the values for these so if we look if we look at the table or unit circle uh, cosine pi over 3 would be the x value at pi over 3 and we want to put that exact value in so in this case the uh, if you want to keep it in radians it's fine if you want to convert it to degrees you can as well which would be 60 degrees now the value for that is going to be one half so we're going to do one half don't forget to square it so the whole thing inside that whole thing gets replaced with the value which is one half next tangent pi over 4 okay we look at that that's going to be the same thing as 45 degrees it's 1 so this is 1 squared now we just need to simplify it over here we get 1 over 1 fourth minus 1 if we flip the fraction it's the same thing as 4 minus 1 which is 3 so that would be the exact value for this problem it worked out to whole number it's 3